Looks like mustaches piled on top of mustaches. Hey, what's up you guys? Shardmas Prime here doing another Kodobo Kia statue review on the Star Wars The Force Awakens Artifacts Plus Han Solo and Chewbacca statue 2 pack. Gotta give a big thanks to Kodobo Kia for sponsoring this YouTube channel and sending out these statues to review for you guys. If you want to see the latest from them and you're trying to pick these up, check the link in the description below. Very nice Han and Chewie right over there. On the side you can see Han Solo and then on the very back you can see both statues again. Then on this side you can see Chewbacca and then on the very top that says Star Wars Han and Chewbacca and then there's not much more on the bottom so let's get to it and crack these things open. And here's Han Solo and Chewbacca out of the packaging and as you can already see these are beautiful looking pieces. I love the paint apps that we see on these Kodobu Kia statues and very nice sculpting as well. There is some assembly required, not much. You just have to put the hand with the bow blaster in there for Chewie and then with Han you have to attach the arms, the head and the torso. So let's get a closer look. Let's start with Han Solo. Now comparing this statue to some images online, I think Kodobu Kia did a great job replicating the likeness of Harrison Ford on this face sculpt. It looks really good. I like that facial expression. He looks very concerned. Man, they did a great job on this. I like the flesh tone. I like the amount of wrinkles too. They didn't overdo it, but he definitely looks aged and a little beat up. A little bit of hints of five o'clock shadow, just very, very subtle over there. I really like the direction his eyes are looking. The hair looks great, you know. Just have a little bit of hint of brown in there. Just very, very, very subtle, but it's mostly gray, you know, with some lighter gray highlights right there. Really tricky to see. It's just like a very light tan mixed in there. But I really dig it. Looks great. I also like the jacket too. The jacket looks fantastic. It has that bit of gloss to it, you know. It's very reflective, so it looks leathery. I dig that. The shirt looks really good. I like that you can't actually remove his blaster from his hand, and it does have some silver dry brushing on it which is kind of tricky to see but yeah get some silver dry brushing on there and I did remove this from his hand and try to put it in the holster right over here but it does not go into the holster and I like that we even get some nice paint detail on the hands themselves too a little bit of speckling of the paint it's very very light and then nice bright silver right over here some beautiful shadowing on the pants and everything the boots look really good Nicely sculpted wrinkles in there. I like how the texturing changes on the boots as well. Han butt, and then here's looking at the back right over there. So yeah, not looking too shabby at all. He does have the magnets at the bottom of his feet and he does come with his own base. And I need to mention that I do have one little gripe with this piece is that putting the head in here, I do still see a tiny bit of gappage right over there. Just a tiny, tiny little bit. So that, that irks me just a little bit, but I don't know, it's not the worst thing that could happen. And then here's looking at the Chewbacca head sculpt, which I think was eloquently done. And I especially like that they gave him these blue eyes, especially because Peter Mayhew and Junesuo Tamo both have blue eyes, as you can see right over here so I think that's pretty important that they captured that detail and I think this looks great. I love the color variation on this Chewbacca. We get all kinds of different colors of brown over here. You can see some light tan. We get some very nice deep brown right over there. We get some very dark brown over there. Very well done. I like the sculpted details, of course. It looks like fur throughout. The bow blaster looks great. You can see even his fingernails are painted with a glossy black where the rest of the hands a flat black. You can see some light silver dry brushing right over here. Very well done on this bow blaster. I really dig it a lot. Uh, this doesn't bend back or anything. I tried it. It, it doesn't do that, but still. Uh, the strap over here even looks really good. Some little black pieces over here on the brown, so they even have the details on the strap of the bow blaster. Very well done. He has a satchel right over here, but yeah, the strap looks really good. I like all the little silver pieces throughout on this. Looks great. Yeah, I'm still kind of fighting a cold a little bit. But anyway, looking at the fur over here, the Chewbacca butt looks great. I love how the fur changes color throughout on this. I really dig that a lot. That's very awesome. The legs look fantastic, and of course, you gotta love those chewy toes! Look at those chewy toes right there. They even got the glossy black paint on the toenails right over there. Very good looking chewy tootsies. And then on the very back right there, you can see we get some lighter brown. And then on the bottom of his feet, he does have the magnets. He even sculpted the bottom of his feet as well. That's great. And he does come with his own base, so he's magnetic. Now measuring out these two statues, you can see while with their bases included over here, we have the Chewbacca standing at about nine and a half inches tall and Han Solo standing just under eight inches tall. And I guess without the bases, you could see that Han's just over seven inches and Chewie just under nine inches. And here's Chewie and Han next to Jerky McJerkface, Kylo Ren. And you can see they scale all very well together. Why did you have to kill your papa? Why did you do it? Now I do recommend leaving these statues on their magnetic bases, but they can stand on 
on their own, which is pretty cool. And here they are compared to the Black Series versions of Han Solo and Chewbacca. And especially with the Chewbacca over here, I like the colors on the statue way more. And the Han Solo has a lot more gray hair on the statue, which I think is much more film accurate. And comparing these statues to an average six inch scale figure, here they are next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Yeah, I know I keep saying it's best to leave these statues on their magnetic bases, but I do think they just look a little bit cooler without them. I think these are great looking pieces. Kodobo Kia is fairly consistent with these. I guess my only real gripe over here is that little gap in the collar for Han Solo, but other than that, I really like these a lot. And if you're a Star Wars Force Awakens fan and you love Han and Chewie, I highly recommend these. And I hope you guys recommend this review. If you liked the video, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of the statues. Let me know what you think of the review. If you want more Shardimus Prime videos coming your way, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to ensure that my videos are popping up in your feed. If you want to see a photo gallery of images, it'll be over at JediInsider.com. And you can follow me on the Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Links all in the description below. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! I'm gonna play with my toys today. 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 Well, I don't care what strangers say. I'm gonna play with my toys today. That's crispy. Hey, new Shard Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.